Today in Minecraft, I became the most infamous criminal in the world. I robbed a bank and got super rich. And I'm the cop in this town. Get back here, you criminal. Oh no, it's Melon. If you go to like the video in 2.43 seconds, you guys can put Sunny in jail. No, stop. Melon, make sure you sell enough desserts so we can get our rent money. Bro, I just closed my deal with Quandale and he tipped me a whole diamond. That's awesome. Thank you, Quandale. Okay, Alex and Steve, what can I get for you? I want the pumpkin cake, please. Come in right up. Here you go, Alex. I really want a carrot cake with ketchup. Okay, Steve, that's pretty weird, but I got you. One carrot cake with a little bit of ketchup. Got you, brother. Thanks, Sonny. Here's some diamonds. Yo, thank you, guys. Melon, we're actually gonna make it. Yeah, we just need to sell a few more. One shift later. And that's a wrap. Sorry, villagers, the shop is closed. Oh, Melon, I sold so many cakes today. Yeah, bro, and I sold so many hamburgers. Yes, I'm beggar. Let me check my diamonds in the cash register. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No way! Melon, Melon, I have a whole month's rent here. Wait, same here, Sonny. I have nine diamonds. This is perfect. Let's head home and get some sleep, because tomorrow we're moving to the big city. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I can't wait, bro. I just really hope we get these new jobs. Yeah, bro. I've always wanted to be a police officer and make tons of diamonds. Yeah, Melon, I'm pretty sure that's not why people become police officers. But anyways, let's head downstairs and admire our work. Yes. Melon, one month's rent, two months' rent. We just need three months' rent. Let's go. All right, I'm tired. Gonna get some shut-eye for the night. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna head to sleep, too. I'm way too excited. I can't sleep! Guys, Sonny is sound asleep. I guess he worked himself too hard today. Me, on the other hand, I can't go to sleep! I got Gotta check my job offer at Quandale's. I really hope I got accepted. Yo, Quandale! Quandale! Wait, what? Closed? Go away? No, no, but I gotta check my job offering. I guess I'll just stay out here all night. The next day. Ah, uh, good morning, world. Today's the big day, Melon. Wait, where's Melon? Hello? Are you putting on your dress shoes or something? Melon, where did you go, bro? Well, I guess I'll just have to collect all the rent money and head to Quandale's. I really hope I got accepted at my new job. One, two, three. Wait a second. What is Melon doing over here? Yo, bro, what are you doing here? Sonny, I couldn't go to sleep. I had to know. I had to know. Uh, Quandale, you're not closed anymore. It's 10 a.m. I'm coming in. <laughs> Quandale, Quandale, did I get my job offering? Did I get my... Get away, Sonny. I've been waiting way longer than you. Quandale, please tell me my job offering got accepted. Guys, Melon's really starting to freak me out. While he's talking to Quandale, I'm just gonna go check the computer and see if I got the job. Sonny, get off the computer! I gotta check! Yo, relax, bro! I, uh, I got an interview! Yeah! I'm gonna be a police officer! I swear if I didn't get an interview, Big Man Melon, what did I get? What did I get? Yo, I got an interview as well! Let's go! To the big city! Whoa! Melon, we made it to the big city! This is awesome! Yo, Sonny, it is pretty cool. But not as cool as that job interview! Sonny, we gotta hurry up! We're gonna be late bro chill they can wait around a little bit we just moved in sunny sunny we're gonna be late to be two hours early all right uh you could go be two hours early i'm gonna check out the library of knowledge you have fun with that bro <laughs> I might miss my two and a half hour early appointment. Hello, Mrs. Police Officer Boss, ma'am. Uh, I'm ready to do the interview. And you are? Uh, I'm Big Man Melon. I'm interviewing in three hours. You're three hours early? Yep, fashionably on time. Uh, I did have other work to do, but since you're already here, what do you intend to do about the crime in our town? Well, ma'am, I intend to put a stop to it all. Because when I was a baby little boy... Three hours later. And that's why I want to stop all crime. That was way more in-depth than I needed to know. Especially the part about your third grade bully. I think we're done here. Wait, really? Did that mean I get the job? If that'll make you stop talking, then yes, absolutely. Go wild. Oh, these books have been awesome. I wonder if I can find anything else. Oh, this looks like a good read. The melon that could. There was once a little watermelon. All he
he wanted was to be a cool and respected police officer. Um, okay, this is oddly specific. He was really annoying, though. And all the other officers just wanted to hire the other guy who's yellow. True story, by the way. Oh, wow, that, that is a totally cool novel. Not written by me. I'll leave it in the library. Okay, time for my interview. And I'm gonna be precisely on time. Not a minute late or early. Yes, let's go! Wait, Melon, how'd your interview go? It went amazing, Sonny. You got the job? Yep, I got the job. Yeah! Yo, Melon, come back, bro. Let me give you your first month's rent. Okay, that was pretty strange. Anyways, uh, yes. Hello there, officer. I'm here for my interview. My name is Sonny. I'm not giving that watermelon the job, but we really do need a good police officer, so please take a seat and answer my questions. I'm ready for my interview questions. What do you intend to do about the crime in our town? Well, officer, once I become a policeman myself, I'll have a gun and I'll shoot anyone in the face who doesn't listen to me. Uh, that's not how we do the job here. Anyways, second question, if you saw an old lady crossing the street outside of a crosswalk, what would you do? Well, you see, some people might think they should stop and help this old lady cross, but not me. I am a stickler for the rules. And the rules clearly state if you're not walking on a crosswalk, you're breaking the law, so I'd run her over with my car. <laughs> I'm not sure you could pass our psychological evaluation. You are crazy. Crazy about the law? Hey, you know what I mean? Oh no. I think we have to hire the watermelon. So, if you hire the watermelon, that means you're also hiring me, right? No, sir, we cannot hire you based on your responses. In fact, you are being put on a watch list instead. Wait, a watch list? Like, you're gonna call me up when you need extra help, right? Like, backup. Yeah, just whatever. Get out of my sight! Okay. Uh, well, not super successful. I didn't get the job, but hey, at least I'm on a watch list! Woohoo! Let's go! Watch list, watch list! Yo! Oh, Sonny, you look pretty happy. Did you get the job? Well, no. Unfortunately, they're a bit full on staff right now because you got the interview before me. But they put me on a watch list for later. They put you on a watch list, Sonny? Yeah, my interview went so well. They said they're going to keep an eye on me. Sonny, a watch list isn't a good thing, bro. That means they're going to keep an eye on you in case you try to commit any crimes. Wait, what do you mean they're going to keep an eye on me in case I commit crimes? That's like really bad, Sonny. Also, you're going to struggle to find any jobs in this city. You're pretty much gonna be homeless. <laughs> Wait a second. This is the police officer uniform, right? Yeah. I guess I don't have much to worry about because it's gonna be hard to keep an eye on me with both of them covered. Yo, yo, you just assaulted a police officer. Go, oh, you're under arrest. Yeah, if you could see me. <laughs> oh no, I can't see you. Where'd you go, Sonny? You know what, Sonny? I'll let this slide if you give me two months worth of rent. Ugh, whatever, bro. There's your rent money. Congratulations on the position. Just please, all right? Put in a good word for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. Guys, I can't believe I didn't get the job. And apparently being on a watch list means you're a bad guy. I didn't think that was the case. I thought they were just looking out for me for a future opportunity. Psst, psst, Sonny, come in. Oh, hello, neighbor. Come in, come in. Okay. Hey, how's it going, sir? Yeah, we're the new neighbors. That's my brother, Melon. He's a police officer. But I got put on a watch list. Sorry if that makes you uncomfortable. I've actually been looking for a new associate, and you're the perfect guy for the job. Wait, you've got a job for me? Yes, yes. But first, you gotta prove yourself. We're gonna be doing something devious that only people on watch lists can do. Oh, I see. You need someone with the right qualifications for your job. <laughs> I think I could probably handle this. Your first task is to collect a pizza, but you must not pay for it. It's very important that you don't. If you can accomplish this, I will give you a code breaker. Whoa, a code breaker as a reward? That sounds awesome. Okay, one pizza coming right up. Ah, the first day at work. I can't wait to meet my colleagues. Hey, what's up, Steve? Steve, Steve, I'm right here. Buzz off, you're so annoying, bro. What the heck, bro, I didn't even talk to you yet. What is wrong with these people, man? This makes no sense! Why does this door just lead to a cliff? What even is this town? Okay, so I found the pizzeria, but unfortunately it says closed, under construction. But I was told I can make the pizza myself for free. So let's just go back here and sort ourselves out. Yes, chef's kiss. 
Okay, so it looks like we have a cutting board, a pizza oven, and all the supplies we should need are around here somewhere, I hope. Okay, we've got everything we need now. Time to roll out the dough. Yep, that looks pretty good. Then we're gonna need a little bit of tomatoes. Slice these up. Perfect, six tomato slices. And I think a little bit of cheese. Time to slice. Yep, that should be good. And then we put the tomatoes, and we put the cheese, and a more tomato, and a more cheese. And time to cook this pizza! Oh, this is gonna be scrumptious. You think it's done? No, that's raw. That's raw. It looks like it's starting to get crispy. I think it's finished. Wait, what? It's still raw? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, this takes forever. Okay, this pizza better be done this time. There's literally green sparkles. If that doesn't say good, I don't know what does. Yes, I've done it! A delicious pizza! Now, I'm not a criminal, so I'll put the hat back. And then I'm out of here! Thanks for the pizza! I gotta get this pizza back to my neighbor right away! Yo, Sonny, yo, Sonny, chill! What's going on, Melon? How's the first day on the job? Yo, come over here, bro. I need to talk to you for a second. Okay, but I don't see a crosswalk. No, it's fine, bro. I'm a police officer. No one's here. No one's gonna know. It's all good. All right. What's up, bro? Yo, jaywalk, bro! That's gonna be one diamond block! Bro, relax! What do you mean I jaywalked. You literally called me over. You're an officer of the law. I have to listen. Sonny, if I told you to walk in front of a train, would you do it? No, actually. That's a good point. Yep, exactly. Now give me my diamond block. But bro, that's my entire month's rent. I'm gonna be poor. Yeah, that sounds like a you problem, Sonny. The uh, police station doesn't pay as handsomely as I realize, so I've been finding this money-making scheme to be very, very profitable. Wait, I'm on a watch list and you're charging people diamonds for jaywalking. Give me a diamond block! Okay, relax! My rent, I'm bro! And I'm rich! Anyway, see you later, Sonny. Wait, and he's jaywalking? No! <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna go bring this pizza to my neighbor and I hope they'll have a solution for me. Stevie! Stevie! Okay, I got that pizza. Here you go. Great work, Sonny. You're better than expected. Thanks, Stevie. Especially since you even stole all of the cookware from the restaurant, too. Wait, you're right! I didn't mean to! It was a mistake! No, no, don't worry, you're a natural. You're actually proud of me for this? Of course, I'm teaching you how to become a criminal here. Wait, you're turning me into a criminal? I don't want to be a criminal. Don't you want to be rich? Well, well, yeah, I, I need some money to pay my rent, and being rich sounds pretty awesome. Perfect, then being a criminal is the job for you. Well, uh, I guess so. Being a criminal doesn't sound so bad then. No, no, it's totally bad. You're gonna be a bad boy, but you'll have a lot of money. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. What about that code breaker you promised? me. Here you go. Thank you. Now all you'll need to rob the bank is a mask. You just gotta complete one more thing for me and I'll give you one. Then you'll be set to rob the bank. Okay, Stevie, what do you need me to do? I need you to go and take the wheels off the police officers' cars. That way they can't catch you when you rob the bank. You're actually a genius. Let's go. Yes, this is perfect. I'm gonna need a jack if I'm gonna take the tires off these police cars. Oh no, guys. It looks like Officer Melon is over here guarding the vehicles. Um... Hey, Melon! There's an emergency! What's the emergency, Sonny? You're not gonna believe this, but someone's peeing in the city fountain! Public urination? Oh, oh, in a government property? That's a double fine! That's five diamond blocks! I'm gonna be rich! Okay, guys, now that Melon's distracted, it's time to remove these wheels. Car up, put the car on. Oh, no, I do not want to drive it right now. Wait, there's no one in the fountain, and I don't smell any pee. Where did this culprit go? Now I've just got to grab the wrench from the car, Jack, and take these tires. Yo, check it out. Yes! Do it to the van. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't have a lot of time. Melon might be back at any second. Drop this off. Yo, look how goofy these vehicles are. Oh, and now for the police truck. Melon's favorite. Yes, no wheels here. I've confiscated all of them. Now they can't chase me. Give me this. I gotta go. I gotta go fast. I don't want Melon to know this was me. Yes, I got out of there just in time before Melon came back. Public urinator got away, but mark my words, I'll find him. Uh, well, gotta get back to guarding the cars. Uh, what the heck happened to the police vehicles? Why are there no tires? Oh no. Oh, oh, everyone's gonna be so mad at me. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yes, I made it back. All I gotta do is show these to my mysterious neighbor and they should give me the mask so I can rob the bank.
thing. Here you go, Stevie. Wow, that was quicker than I anticipated. Well done. Now take this creeper mask and you should have everything you need to rob the bank. Good luck. Yes. Thank you, Stevie. And the cops can't chase me now either. So much for their watch list. Activating my disguise. Yes. I have fully concealed my identity. Time to rob the bank. Oh, where's the bank? Yo. Check out this building, though. It looks so cool. Oh, and I'm finished robbing the bank. I'm gonna buy that apartment. That's gonna be my new house. Yes, finally, I found it. The bank. I can't wait to rob this place. Wait a second, what's this? Too sunny from neighbor. Oh, he must have sent me something to help me rob the bank. <laughs> Minigun? Bazooka? Yo! I gotta be careful with this stuff. Don't want to destroy the bank on accident. Make sure my disguise is still on. We're ready. Listen up, villagers! Give me all the money or I'll blow you up! Oh, you're not taking me seriously, huh? How about this? Yeah, that got your attention, didn't it? Where's the vault? Please don't hurt me. I'll tell you where it is. We got a 2457. The bank's being robbed. I gotta get there quick. Wait, my vehicle. It doesn't have any wheels. I forgot. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna take forever to get there. Okay, so that villager said there should be a door over here. Yes, the vault doors. Code break, code break. And I'm in. Yeah, ho. Time for me to get rich. Just one bazooka blast away. Yes, diamonds, emeralds. Oh, this is amazing. Hold on. I need more. I need more. Check it out. I'm officially rich. 14 emeralds, 25 diamonds. Oh, wait. No way. They even have donuts. This is the best day ever. I just got to get out of here before I get busted. <laughs> Mr. Villager, where is the robber? What the heck took you guys so long? It's been an hour. Uh, a minor miscalculation uh, with the vehicles. Uh, yeah, someone stole our tires. Uh, anyway, check out the footage from the cameras. This guy was a trained professional. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, for sure. Just got to check the camera. Oh, so now I've got your attention, villager. Tell me where the vault is! Dang, I have absolutely no idea who that was. But he kind of looked familiar. I don't really know what it was about him. If it wasn't for that silly creeper mask disguise. Meanwhile... Ah, oh, yes. Look at my beautiful new house. I've got the jumbo king bed. I've got another couch. Look at all my diamonds, by the way. Huge dining room table. Bunch of gold I could sit back and stare at. Did I mention I'm rich? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, uh, look at the views. Look at these views. Oh yeah, and that's my visitor. I invited Melon over so I could rub this in his face. Oh, hello. Good afternoon, Melon. Did you come to see my new estate, the penthouse suite? Yeah, bro. I heard you're the new richest in Sky City, dude. I gotta see this place. Oh, thanks, Melon. I appreciate that recognition. Here, come have a grand tour. Yo, this place sucks, sonny. But dude, this is nothing. It's just the elevator. Look. Whoa, wait. Yo, this place is freaking crazy, dude. You've got so many gold blocks. In diamond blocks. Bro, that's so much rent right there. I know. I'm pretty much the richest in this city. Yo, Sonny, dude. We gotta sit down and have a chat. Okay. Sure. What's up? I'm just a little curious. How did you come to acquire all this wealth? Well, you see, we have this neighbor who's quite mysterious named Stevie. I did a couple of jobs for him and now I'm rich. Well, that seems awfully vague, Sonny. Anyways, I don't really care how you got the money. This place is so cool. Wait a second, creeper head? Oh, so now I've got your attention, villager. Tell me where the vault is. Sonny, why do you have a creeper head? I just thought it was a really cool decoration, yeah. Same thing with this donut, just a cool decoration. And so then what's in this chest? A minigun? A bazooka? A code breaker? It was you the whole time! Uh, Melon, I, uh... Don't know what you're talking about! Get over here, Sonny! No, Melon, Melon, stop! Melon, stop! Sonny! Sonny, you can't run from me! Why? Why do you have to be so strict all the time? Sonny, I'm not being strict, bro. Just listen to me. Okay, I'm listening. Stop hitting me. I know you robbed the bank, but I want in, Sonny. I can't be living paycheck to paycheck like this. Let's rob the casino together. I always knew you were a dirty cop, Melon, ever since the day you gave me a ticket for jaywalking. But yeah, we should probably rob this casino. It's the only building more 
rich than mine. Sonny, let's do this thing. For once, we'll work together. And when we team up, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Nothing that can't succeed. Nothing that won't work. We're in. Time to get rich. Let's do this. Sonny, grab the loot. Oh, so many diamonds. So many gold. So much emerald. Bro, the casino is so rich. Okay, Melon, we don't have much time. The alarms are already blaring. Sonny, let's bust your way out of here. Let's break down that wall. Stand back. Let's go. What? Stevie. What are you doing here? You two are such idiots. Well, Sonny, uh, we're in jail for the rest of our lives, so enjoy the view. But, Detective Stevie, how could you? You set me up! Well, you were put on a watch list. Who do you think was watching your every move? But Melon becoming a dirty cop was something unexpected. Quickly, press the subscribe button to break us out of prison. Please, do it in the next three seconds.